Hi, it's Rob from Bush and Bolcom. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to paint a pre-heresy World Eaters chapter badge. If you'd like to support the channel, our coffee and Patreon pages are linked below. Now onto the video. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to paint on the red ring using some Mephiston red. So as always, I'd paint the bottom left hand corner of the circle first. And you're just going for a nice smooth red circle on the shoulder pad. Here I'm marking roughly the top and bottom of where I want the circle to be. I'm going to try and work within that kind of area. Doing the bottom left hand corner, bottom left hand piece, then rotating the figure a bit and carrying on doing it like that. If it does come off and it's slightly too thin, you can just go over that. Here I'm using a Army Painter Wargamer character brush just to get that nice thin circle done. If you want it slightly thicker like I'm doing here, you can make it a bit thicker or if it's a bit streaky, you can go over that just so it's a nice smooth red layer. Now the next part that you can work on is the spikes that it has going around the outside. So for each spike, because they're going to be really, really small, what you can do is just do a streak diagonally down right and a streak diagonally down left. And that will give you the two angles of it. Because they're very small, there won't be a gap in the middle of them. So you have a spike at the top and bottom. You have a spike at the east and west compass points on the shoulder pad too. And then between each of the compass points you will have three other spikes. So you have a northeast, northwest, southwest, southeast. And then between each of those points you will then have one spike. So between each of the north, south, east, west you will have three spikes for each one. So it's the easiest way to do it I find is to separate it into the quarters first and then once you've got those quarters on you can divide each quarter in half by putting the spike on and then you know that you've got to put a spike on either side of that. If you wanted to you could actually rotate it each time and just do the compass points with the shoulder pad at a slightly different angle. That'd work fine as well but for the sake of ease and to save any confusion that possibly could arise. I just do the compass points, divide each one in half and then put a spike between the southeast and the east and the north. So we're just going to speed up to the next part where we put the rest of these spikes in. So just continuing to add the spikes to each of the four quarters there and once you've got all them in place you can just tidy them up a little bit add any little bits that you might need to we're now going to start on the teeth so the teeth you want to do the two larger canines one on each side so do them on the top and bottom and then you can just work in the teeth in between each of the canines, like so. The final thing that we're going to do is use some Citadel Drakenhof Nightshade. This is good because it allows, it's quite thin, it allows you to use it quite easily and you can darken the areas where you want the water to be on the world within the mouth. So as with the 40k World Eaters chapter badge, you can do the world or the land masses and the seas in whichever way you want to do it, to be honest. It doesn't really matter too much. So 
I find the Drachenhof Nightshade is nice because it's dark enough that on the McCrag blue and the highlights it will show up nicely. You can just put on one or two layers of this, put on like one slightly thicker layer or a couple of thin layers and that will just darken those up nicely so they stand out just enough as the chapter badge does. It's also easy enough to manoeuvre in between all those teeth as well at the top and bottom. So you don't have to worry about it being a bit too thick and maybe blotting over some of that red. And if it does, you can just get the shade off the brush and absorb any extra that you don't need. And that is the finished World Eaters Chapter Badge. So this is the finished Chaos Space Marine that came last Wednesday as well with the chapter badges on the left pauldron. So I'll link up the video to that too. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also, think about subscribing to some of our other social media, link below. Thanks very much. If you'd like to support the channel, our coffee and Patreon pages are linked below. Thanks very much.